Well, hey guys, Silly Tuck here, and we're back with a, another episode of ECW Extreme Championship Wrestling. This, of course, is Hardcore TV. Um, if I sound a little bit different, it's because I'm a little bit higher than I normally would be. Here's the deal, right? My cat threw up, right? My, my, my kitten, she threw up, and so she's taking refuge on my chair, my, like, computer chair. She's right over here, and she's asleep. So I'm just, I've just got, like, a stool. I'm just crouched on this stool because I don't want to wake her up. We got the banner finally. I don't know why it took me so long to put a banner in, but here's our banner. Took you long enough. Like, only like a year and a bit. Uh, we're, of course, in Hammerstein. This is the Fallout show from uh, Cyberslam. I was like, well, what show is that? Cyberslam. Uh, we, of course, have new tag team champions. Uh, not going to hear from them tonight, but uh, next week... Uh, for certain. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's rock and roll. Wow, that's a really good open. Wow. Um. I don't know if I was ready for that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, Taz cuts a promo talking about how no matter how many guys the FBI sent at him he's still champion he's still dominant he's still a destroyer, a killer a human suplex machine the Tasmaniac, the human suplex king the fucking pint sized murderer of New York City he's a human fire breathing dragon prove me wrong And Taz holds up the television title up next to his face as the camera zooms in on him and he says, Beat me if you can. Survive if I let you. You know, it's it, it's nothing too much to go into detail about. You know what I mean? We're not setting up a new story here for Taz. We're just letting him bask in the glory of no matter how many guys the fucking FBI sent at me, I battled them all back. I fucking threw everybody around suplex style. T-bones, Germans, normal suplex, half and half, full Nelson, whatever kind you want. All right, he's got them all. He's like the ice cream man, but the ice cream isn't ice cream. It's a suplex. Um... <laughs> the fuck was that analogy I love it um it's Taz and that's a really fun good rating we're gonna move into a match it's the Dudley Boys 59C pretty good stuff as they beat uh Doug Furnas and Phil Lafon. when Devon beat Phil Lafon with a 3D uh really good stuff from Bubba Devon's getting there Devon's getting there he, he's never gonna be like a like a world beater on his own but he's getting he's getting there you know what I mean um, good improvements there from Furnas and Lafon. Uh, this is this is a brawl, you know what I mean? Like, like it's the Dudleys wrestling their type of match. They're rising back up the tag team ranks after losing their belts. Um, yeah, and and they're they're continuing to be on a roll. Uh, we get a promo from Kurt Angle. It's a 77B, and he says, "If you wondered why I wasn't on the show last week, well." <clears throat> The doctors here at Extreme Championship Wrestling have informed me that I have damaged knee cartilage. Now, I hate to inform you all, because I know I'm the bright spot of everybody's week, but I will not be able to compete for about another week. This week and the next. Heartbreaking, I know. But when I do get back, I want another match with the son of a bitch that hurt me. Spike Dudley, you little son of a bitch. You know, Spike, maybe maybe I took you a little too uh, too lightly. You know what I mean? Maybe I thought you couldn't really hurt me, considering I am an Olympic gold medalist, a, a god in the square-sided circle. Square-sided circle? Isn't it just a squared circle? Yeah. You know, it's the six-sided square. I don't fucking know. TNA's confused me. Uh, I'm a god in the squared circle. I can out-wrestle anybody. I put you on the ground. I beat you. But you... You left your mark. And I, I... I appreciate that in a way. You've given me my first wrestling injury. I thank you. But it's the last wrestling injury you're going to give anyone. Because we're going to step back in the ring. 
second week of March. And I'm going to embarrass you, undress you, break your ankle, matter of fact. I'll put you on the shelf for a long time, Spike, and nobody will ever have to worry about you hurting them again. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. We get a uh, little segment that hypes up the fact that Mike Awesome is scary. We see a video package of him just destroying people. Chastity's also in the video package, kind of hyping up the fact that Tommy Dreamer is in for the uh, in for for a big run here. You know what I mean? If he wants to try to try to beat the awesome Mike Awesome, the awesome Mike Awesome. That's that's cool. I like that. <laughs> The awesome Mike Awesome. Yeah, no, but it's just him delivering awesome bombs to different people. We've got some footage from FMW when he's the gladiator. Uh, it's just awesome. Destroying people. You know what I mean? Um, something that I don't think we've really quite shown off very much. Like, he's had the matches, but I don't think we've ever, like, shown that, like, he fucks people up. And, and I like to think that we got, uh, like, a local competitor we've used before, fed to awesome. We, we had, like, a slight interview with him where he's like, oh, he fucking he broke, broke my back and my neck and, and my, my legs both of them had to go to the hospital was not fun had to pay the bill because I live in America and our healthcare system is stupid um oh Canada um yeah that's that's a really good fucking segment if, if it sounds like I'm a little bit um what's the word accustomed to these ratings I've been playing a bit of a uh, bit of this mod actually uh, off screen with a couple of buddies uh, just, just playing around with it, and, like, when you're WCW, like, you're just on drugs, like, everything's in A, so that opening should have shocked me a lot more than it did, but, you know what I mean, I'm kind of used to it, um, but, you, you know what I mean, though, you, you know what I mean, uh, that's an alright match, that's an alright match, uh, Jerry Lynn beat Steve Carino in about eight minutes by pinfall with a cradle pile driver, bit of a return from, like, early last year, I believe, around this time, um, that's, that's an alright matchup, I think. Uh, Carino doesn't impress very much, but that's okay. Um, I kind of dropped the ball with this run for Carino. Um, it's alright, because when we have him back next year, hopefully he'll be better, and we'll be able to kind of, uh, keep him around a little bit longer if I decide to do so. Because he is a freelancer, right? But, like, I am not above editing certain things in the game to make him sign long-term, if we're cult, you know what I mean? Like, because I, I think in my head, you'd have to be cult and above to make a freelancer, like, stay. Because even, even like, national companies, like, WFW, you couldn't get him to stay. He'd be like, no, no, I'm a freelancer. And I find that stupid, you know what I mean? Because they'd stay for the money. But, whatever. Moving forward. We get, uh, yeah, just incredible. Jumps Jerry Lynn after the match. And he's, like, yelling at him, like, oh, don't you fucking ignore me, Jerry. He's, of course, credible issued a challenge to Lynn, uh, and Lynn looked like he had no, uh, no intention on responding to that, you know what I mean, he's just wrestled his match, he just beat, uh, Steve Carino, thought my cat was waking up, nope, she's not, um, he just beat Steve Carino, he's on his way to the back, and Credible just jumps him with a, uh, the kendo stick, cracks him over the back of the skull, you know, like, just yells at him, oh, don't you fucking ignore me, Jerry, fuck you, you think you're fucking better than me, Fuck you. You know. The old... Old runaround. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens with this next week. Uh, Sandman cuts a promo before our main event tonight. He's not in our main event. Our main event is Shane Douglas versus Mikey Whipwreck. But Sandman does talk about Rob Van Dam. And talks about how, um... You know... There have been people who question why he's in these positions. He's heard the chatter. He's heard that people don't think he should be here because he doesn't win. People have gained this perception somehow that Sandman isn't a winner. That somehow these people have gotten behind Rob Van Dam and his concept of eliminating hardworking people. The past year has been pretty rough on the Sandman. But if there's one thing Sandman isn't, it's a loser. He's a former ECW world champion. He's one of the stars of this company. 
and he's an ass kicker. And he's going to prove that. He's going to beat Rob Van Dam, become champion once again. No, put him to sleep. You get you get it cuz he's he's the sand man. Yeah, you 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 get why did my phone go off? What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Toss my phone over there. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, main event time. That's really damn good. It's a 75 B minus as Shane Douglas defeats Mikey Whipwreck in 1807 by pinfall to pile driver. We see a new game plan from Mikey in this. Mikey kind of strays away from that uh, grappling stuff because he, he's lost to uh, Douglas a couple times before using it. So he goes for a more brawl based approach. Uh, he tries to catch Shane off guard, a fast fury of punches, you know what I mean? Uh, frenetic pace, if you will. A lot of sticking and moving, uh, boxer style. Um, not exactly like a boxer, but I think you know what I mean. A lot of fast pace uh, moves, but while maintaining a strike focus. Um, in the end, though, um, I think Shane's just a better wrestler, you know what I mean? And that happens sometimes. Um, no matter no matter how hard you try, no matter how well you train, sometimes people just do have more talent, inherently. Um, and Douglas is a very good pro wrestler. He's been an Intercontinental Champion in the WF. He's been ECW World Champion, Television Champion, maybe a Tag Champion, probably not. Um, but the first Extreme Championship Wrestling World Champion. He is the franchise, by all meanings. And he, uh, and he wins tonight. Matter of fact, we ended off with a fucking great angle. As uh, Douglas actually addresses that, and he says, How come I'm in the main event fighting fucking Mikey Whipwreck? I've beaten Mikey Whipwreck. I don't understand why I'm being put in these positions where I'm not the focus of the show. Because I'll be honest, I am the franchise. Do you understand, Paul Heyman, wherever the fuck you are, that when I am on TV, eyeballs come to this show? Do you get that? Do you get that when I speak, I generate media attention? When I win, it's a national event. Children and grandparents and great-grandparents, young and old, all the way through them, they celebrate the franchise. <laughs> and you understand, right, that it can all go away. I could walk away if I felt like and, and, and all of a sudden you know Douglas is saying and, and maybe may, and Douglas kind of stops and he's looking up again at the balcony and Jesus fucking Christ it's Sabu again <laughs> Sabu's just looking down at him doesn't really motion at all and, and Douglas who has the mic points up at Sabu and he says you fucking son of a bitch you're here to haunt me here to fucking haunt me like the fan of the opera. I didn't break your fucking leg. Shark Boy broke your fucking leg. If you got a problem with somebody, it's him. And Sabu doesn't move. Doesn't react. Doesn't show any anything. Just stares at him. And Douglas looks over at Don Marie and he kind of motions to her and they 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 actually leave through the other side of the crowd. And Sabu is fucking shook. Shane Douglas, the franchise. Overall, the episode gets a 78B. Oh my god. That's really good. That's really, really, really good. It's the end of the month, so you know it's my favorite time. It's time to figure out who are the new debuts in the world. Check over what's going on. That, that, that spelled territory strong. Territories. Huh. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I, I found it was a little bit shorter, but I think we hit all the points we needed to, if that makes any sense. Um, Alright, what do we got here? Hardcore TV was awesome. Thanks. Uh, how was... Uh... Oh, they typed Saturday night. That's fair. Um, Tommy Rich sulks away from NWA Wildside. Okay. Uh, the Sandman thinks Doug Furnas can't sell. Well, you know, it's not like we were going to put him in any big position anyways. Thanks, though, Sandman. Uh, you can check out right here the um, the uh, Cyber Slam episode did our best TV rating ever, a 0 0.05 with 40,000 people tuning in. I hope to build on that. 
Um, I really hope to build on that. Um, because we had a really good show, and now we've had an even better show. That's ridiculous, first of all. That rating that we got. I'm very happy with that. Uh, you can see how much money we're going to make this month. Probably another 30k, which is really nice. Is there anything else I want to look at? Not really. Um, of course, the angle uh, knee cartilage gimmick is a shoot. Um, and yeah, we'll throw him in there with uh, with uh, uh, Mikey in a couple in a, in a little bit. You know what I mean? Let's just move forward. Get to the get to the main event. No, not not the main event. Because the main event is the original rock. Don Morocco. Morocco, Rocco. Um, I wish I had something more to talk about during this portion. Because this is the portion that takes, like, like the longest, right? Because you see it has to do all of the contracts and, the, and, like, the company finances. And hirings, as it says right there, and people stealing people, tours, month end stuff. You know what I mean? Got to figure out all the month end stats of everybody and record them. It's ridiculous that how much like this game does in that little bit. Oh, it also cleans up, as it said there, and it's compacting it, and we should be good. There we are. All right. <laughs> Who the fuck is Haruka Eigen? I don't know. He's not very popular. How did Heat do? That's all I care about. Wow, the Mountie defeated Scott Taylor. Wow. Wow. Who's who's Ray Jink again? Oh yeah, Norman Smiley and Ah, oh, rest in peace. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's Ah. Oh. That's not fun. That's all right. Let's just go forward with it. Hector Guerrero has joined CMLL. Chris Daniels and Glenn Osborne are the void. Whoa. All right, what do we got here? Uh, regional battles. We are first. And a lot of these. James Mitchell's relocated. Psychosis. Super crazy. And Gladiator finished tours. Booking position available in CZCW. Because they've just been founded. CZC Dub. I didn't even notice. That's cool. I should have noticed, because I think I literally passed it. Yeah, new promotion, CZCW. There you go. We got CZC Dub now up in here. Uh, which means I think we got a little bit of a little bit of a hardcore competition, don't we? Because where are they? Are they in the West Coast? They're in the Tri-State. Shit, we're going to kill them. They're, they're, they're ultra-violent, though, right? Yeah, they're, like, fucking crazy. We're just, we're just hardcore. Hardcore Revolution. What are they called? Hardcore Cult. Hmm. Interesting. How is, uh... How is, uh... What's his name's Fed coming? Um, Gertner's Fed. Have they held a show yet? I don't know. We can see their stars. Oh, is it a women's company? It is a women's company. Wow. That's cool. I didn't even pick up on that. Uh, history. They have held a show. Bad Obsession. Wow, it fucking sucked. Well, it really fucking sucked. What are their belts? HWA number one contender. HWA tag team. Or HWF. Uh, HWF. Universal. The Universal Champion. Um. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm down to quickly look at all of these, like computer generated ones because i want to see if they have anybody interesting i don't know any of these people i don't think steinblock that guy that guy cannonball grizzly yeah i don't know any of these people um what belts they got though iww european champion iww european nationwide oh i think this is like an actual company is it yeah, it is. A German promotion. Yeah, it looks to make its mark on European wrestling. It is an actual promotion. They just don't have a picture for some reason. Um, there is one, though. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, Eternal Wrestling Championships. Um, I don't think they've ran an event. They have. One. No. Yeah. No, just one? Just one. Uh, they ran Epidemia del Odio. And it was pretty alright, yeah. 
Uh, I don't know why they have zero pop. That's weird. But anyways, what belts do they have? Oh, these ones. Yeah, and the just television one. Oh, God, but held by El Brazo. The fuck, El Brazo? Why are you everywhere? Um, Combat Sports Federation. I feel like that's an actual one. I'm not sure, though. Um, but whatever, fair enough. We've got to go look at the new debuts, because that's what we like to do at this point in the year. Oh, I didn't see any of them, which is all right. I like that. March, story type. New workers. Who do we got? Stephanie McMahon and Nick Mondo. What a fucking haul that is. So Steph has joined wrestling. She is pretty damn good at acting. And she's got very low sex appeal. Are you sure about that? Also, Vince didn't hire his own daughter. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, and Nick Mondo. That's, uh... Yeah, sick Nick, right? Yeah, CZCW, top stunt freak. Um, cool. I mean, I have no plans to bring him in, but... Cool. Positive influence. Bit of a bit of a disappointing haul, especially considered to uh, last month, right? Because last month was like, yeah, it was Styles. Oh God, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely and Lou Fisto. Like Nick Gage is nice, right? Nick Gage is nice. Yeah, Nick Gage is Future of Hardcore, CCCW. Um, Onyx is that Canadian guy. Yeah, or he's American, but he works in Canada mostly. And Chris Devine is not somebody I know. <laughs> But anyways, um, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I continue to enjoy making this series. That's why I do it. Um, the stuff, the 01 stuff with 370. Oh, shit. Look how much money we fucking made. That's dope as fuck. Um, the 01 series with 370, it's working its way to being more regular. But it's tough, especially when both of us don't have the same schedule. And he's uploading content again probably when you see this. Um, or he's doing his damnedest to get it up. Um, so it's a little bit more difficult to get both of us together when we want to, but we're, 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 we're trying. Okay. You know what I mean? We're trying cause we enjoy it and we know you guys enjoy it, but that's neither here nor there. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is silly talk. Hey, my cat finally woke up signing out.